Now, welcome to Ancient Indian Mathematics. Aryabhata, Proven Corrects by S. Haridas. This is a book by name, The Physics of Mathematics, which includes the whole syllabus from class 1 to 10. Actually, the syllabus taught in our schools from class 1 to 10 is of Vedic origin, developed by Aryabhata through Bhaskara. Now, here we are discussing an, about an article published in IOSR Journal of Mathematics, Volume 19, Issue 2, Series 3, March, April 2023, pages 1 to 5. Aryabhata Proven Corrects The great Indian astronomer and mathematician Aryabhata was misinterpreted for the last cen few centuries. Indian as well as Western scholars held a general notion that Aryabhata was a great mathematician, but some of his formulas are wrong. It was mainly due to the lack of understanding of certain Sanskrit words. We are discussing two points here. One, Aryabhata's formulas are correct. Two, there is a built-in proof in his formulas. We will take up some of his formulas on area and volume. A book by name, Aryabhatiya, authored by great scholars V.S. Shukla and K.V. Sharma, published by International Science Academy, points out some mistakes. You will see the area of rectangle. Ayama gunam vistaram chadurashra bhala shariram. Ayama gunam vistaram chadurashra bhala shariram. Length into breadth is equal to area of rectangle. That is the meaning. This is a formula well in use from Vedic period. So Aryabhata skips it. Second, area of triangle. Tribhujasya bhala shariram samadala kodi bhujartha samvarga. The product of the perpendicular dropped from the opposite vertex to the base and half of the base is the area of triangle. That is, area of triangle is equal to half bh. This is how they have translated. This is the original formula used even today. There is no mistake. But there is something to note here. What is the meaning of the word Samadala Kodi Bhujartha Samvarga? It could be Kodi Bhujartha Samvarga. Then also we get the same formula. Tribhujasya Bhala Shariram Kodi Bhujartha Samvarga. That is area of triangle is equal to half base into altitude. But there is a built-in proof. Bhuja is considered as altitude and Kodi the base. That is why we have Bhuja Kodi Karnanyayam, which is later known as Pythagoras theorem. So in a triangle, when we drop a perpendicular from the opposite vertex, it divides the triangle into two triangles with two Kodis. Kodi here used as second case dual number, that is Ikaranda Srilinga Didiya Divajana. These codes are divided equally by dropping perpendicular bisectors. Thus the word Samadala Kodi. Samam means equal, Dalam divided, Samadalam equally divided by a perpendicular bisector. In a triangle ABC, CD is the altitude, PS and QR are perpendicular bisectors of AD and DB respectively. Now AB is equal to B and CD is equal to H, AD is equal to X and DB is equal to Y. Then the area of triangle ABC is equal to area of the rectangle PQRS. That is area of rectangle PSCD plus area of 
rectangle DC or Q. There is half x into h plus half y into h or half into x plus y into h. That means half bh, x plus y is the uh, base. So some of the uh, triangles base half bh. Area of triangle is equal to equally divided ba base into half height. Then only the translation becomes correct. Hence the proof. Now, actually, Aitabhata gives only one formula for the area. The reason is mentioned in another sutra. Third, volume of triangular pyramid. The sutra is Urdhva Bhuja Tat Samvargardham Sakhana Shadashriridi. Uh, meaning, half the product of the area of the triangular base and height is the volume of a six-edged solid. This is the meaning given by the authors and adds this rule which is based on speculation on the analogy of area of a triangle is inaccurate. The correct formula is found to occur in the Brahmasputta Siddhanta of Brahmagupta. That is, volume of a cone or pyramid is equal to one-third base area into height. We also observe that Bhaskara one seems to be unaware of this formula, for he has no comments to make on the rule of Aryabhata one. Even the commentators Someshwara and Surya Deva, that is AD 1191, have nothing to add. These comments clearly show that there was no mistake in Aitivata's formula and it was profusely in use. Now let us be familiar with the words used. Urdhva bhuja, height of the solid, it is not the altitude of triangle. Tad, the area of triangle obtained from the first sutra, that is area of the base of the present solid. Samvargartham, half the product. Here is a problem, a typo error. Ardha Samvarga is used in the previous sutra, so that is carried here also. At least up to the time of Someshwara, the formula was correct. It could be Samvarga Tremsha, meaning one third of the product. It is no rocket science. Aitivata could have easily tested it by filling a triangular prism by a triangular pyramid of same height. Sakhana, that is of the volume of Shadashri, six edged solid, that is triangular pyramid. So the actual sutra was Urdhva Bhuja Tat Samvarga Tremsham Shadashri Riti. Urdhva Bhuja Tat Samvarga Tremsham Shadashri Riti. That is, volume of triangular pyramid is equal to one-third base area into height. This is the correct formula used even today. Moreover, Aryabhata uses the same formula in finding the volume of a sphere. Triangular pyramid. The picture shows the triangular pyramid. The green line shows the height. Fourth. The area of circle. Aitivata gives formula for finding the area of a circle. Sama parinahasyartham vishkambhartha hadameva vritta bhalam. Half of the circumference multiplied by the semi diameter certainly gives the area of a circle. That is, area of a circle is equal to half circumference into radius. That is, half into 2 pi r into r. Uh, half and two cancels, therefore we get pi r square. That is the correct formula. This is the correct formula used even today. But there is a built-in proof also. First we will see the terms used. Samaparinaham, equa, equally divided circumference, that is 2 pi r. Ardham, half of circumference, that is pi r. Vishkambhartham, half diameter, that is radius r, hatam multiplied, vritta bhalam, area of circle, 
which is equal to pi r into r, that is pi r square. So from the figure we can see easily see that the circle is divided equally, then two semicircles are put together to form parallelogram. The area of parallelogram is based into height, that is pi r into r, pi r square. So cut the circumference equally along the radii and take the two semicircles, insert together to get a parallelogram and the area is bh, pi r into r, that is pi r square. Hence we get the area of circle, that is the meaning of the supra. This is taught in the schools as such without mentioning the author's name. Next is the most wonderful and most mistaken formula. by volume of a sphere. The sutra given is tan nijamule nahadam khanagola bhalam nidavashesham. That area of the diametral section multiplied by its own square root gives the exact volume of a sphere. This is the translation given by the others. They continues. That is, if r be the radius of a sphere, then according to Aryabhata 1, volume of a sphere is equal to pi r squared into root pi r squared. Also, Brahmagupta who, was, who has criticized Aryabhata 1 even for his minutest errors has not been able to make any improvement on Aryabhata's formula for the volume of a sphere. Still more noteworthy is the fact that Mathematicians and astronomers in Northern India to regard Aryabhata 1's formulas accurate and went on using it even in the second half of the 9th century AD. So they believed that Aryabhata's incorrect formula was in use for centuries. Actually, we will see that Aryabhata 1's correct formula is used even today without any change. Now we will go to the Sutra. Tan nijamule na hatam khanagola bhalam niravashesham. Tad, that which is mentioned in the previous sutra. Nijamule na. Nijamula means by its own base, not vargamulam, square root. Hatam multiplied. Khanagola bhalam, volume of solid sphere. Niravashesham, exactly. So what does this sutra mean? There is a sphere, it is divided into equal triangular pyramids along the radii as done in the case of area of the circle. Now volume of sphere is equal to sum of volumes of triangular pyramids, which is equal to sum of one third base area of triangular pyramids into height, that is one third A1H plus one third A2H, plus one third A3H, plus etc. That is, one third height is common factor, so one third into A1 plus A2 plus A3, etc. into height H. That is, one third area of sphere into H. That is, one third 4 pi r square into H. That is, 4 by 3 pi r square into R which is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. This is exactly the correct formula used even today. Here is the formula with built-in proof. Aryabhata was correct to the core 1500 years ago. Again Aryabhata says, Sarvesham Kshetranam Prasadhya Parshve Bhalam Tadabhyasa in the case of all the plane figures, one should determine the adjacent sides of the rectangle into which that figure can be transformed and find the area by taking their product. It means the area of all plane figures can be found like this, which I leave here as an exercise. Here is how it can be done. First we will see Aryabhata's formula for finding the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression. From Sutra 16 we get the following formula. Adhyam, Andhyam, Madhyam, Ishtagunam, Sarvathanam. That is, uh, sum 
of an AP is equal to half into first term plus last term into number of terms or Sn is equal to half into A plus An into N. This is the sum of first n terms of an AP. This 1500 year old formula is used even today though it is known after Carl Frederick Gauss. This very formula is used in geometry to find the area of all plane figures. Now we have different formula for each figure. Area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth or LB. Area of triangle is equal to half base into altitude half BH. Area of parallelogram is equal to base into height BH. Area of trapezium is equal to half H into A plus B. All these can be included in one formula. The formula for finding the sum of n terms of an AP which is half n into first plus last or adhyam, andhyam, madhyam, ishtagunam, sarvadhanam. Here adhyam means the base or the first side, andhyam means last side and madhyam means half the sum and ishtam is the distance between the two opposite sides. First area of rectangle, half into L plus L because two opposite sides are same, L plus L into B, that is half into 2L into B, that is LB length into breadth. Next area of triangle, which is half B plus 0 into H, because the second side is, the opposite side is 0, so half BH. Area of parallelogram is equal to half into B plus B into H, which is equal to half into 2B into H, which is equal to BH, that is base into height. Next, fourth one. Area of trapezium is equal to half into A plus B into H. A plus B is sum of parallel sides. So these are the formulas. So this may be the general formula I repeat I intended. All these figures are determined by two parallel lines as follows. Other polygons can be converted to these shapes. Hence, Ayurveda is right in all these formulas and we teach them without knowing the correct version and authenticity. Here the word used to Nijam appears in Amaragosha. Nijam means Swage Nitye Nijam Trishu. Also Moolam means Moola Pradishthayam. It is from Amaragosha.